It's time for the weekly news with Adam Yetzer. Crime in Oakland, California, has become so bad that police told residents to use air horns to alert their neighbors if they're being attacked, and if they're being murdered, they should make a sad sound with a slide whistle. <laughs> I don't know about this policy. Personally, if my neighbor kept blowing an air horn at night, I'd hope he gets killed. Lizzo is being sued by several former backup dancers who say she sexually harassed them and created a hostile work environment. Fans were shocked to find out that there were backup dancers behind Lizzo this whole time. <laughs> One dancer even claimed that Lizzo made her eat a banana as part of a live sex show in Amsterdam. Now, this accusation is obviously fake. There's no way Lizzo let someone else eat something. <laughs> Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau announced that he and his wife Sophie are getting a divorce. Apparently, she's no longer into black guys. <laughs> a Ukrainian woman was arrested for her involvement in an assassination attempt against President Volodymyr Zelensky. Luckily, he was able to shelter himself behind a four-foot-thick barrier, Chris Christie. According to new data, senior citizens are now the fastest-growing group of cannabis users in the U.S which explains the popular new marijuana-infused Werther's Originals. <laughs> Three women in Montana were hospitalized after they were injured in a rare otter attack while rafting on the Jefferson River. Witnesses described the violent attack as adorable. The U.S. was eliminated from the Women's World Cup after retiring star Megan Rapinoe missed a crucial penalty kick. Rapinoe says she plans to use her retirement learning to play soccer. A zoo in China is denying accusations that its Asian sun bear is actually a human in a costume. Even the bear itself has insisted, I not a man in a costume. That's it for weekly news. To see more, check out my YouTube channel and come see me live. I'll be at Gold Country Casino in Oroville, California on August 31st and at the Drop Comedy Club in South Bend, Indiana, September 22nd and 23rd. You just watched a Babylon Bee video. If you want to see more content like this, be sure to also subscribe to the Babylon Bee podcast channel. I co-host the podcast, the interviews, and Dennis Prager bullied me about my dating life. We didn't take that out. It's in this take also. So make sure you comment how smart, funny, and good looking I am to make me feel better about myself. <laughs>